Hello, moviegoers, and welcome to another edition of Have You Seen It? I am your host, Denise, and this week <clears throat> I am going to review the movie Alien Romulus. Uh, so the movie has been out for a minute, and I, you know, was kind of on the fence about seeing this movie. Um, so I finally jumped off the fence and went to the theater to see it. The runtime for this edition of an alien movie is right at two hours. So, you know, just be prepared for that. So this installment um, stars Kaylee Spaney, David Johnson, Archie Renault, Isabella Merced, Spike Fern, Eileen Wu, and Ian Holm. All right. So in this movie, um, Kaylee Spaney's character and her brother, and I put in air quotes, brother Andy are, you know, in the mining community where they uh, live or, you know, wherever they've been living and working for many, many years. And so she has filled her requirement uh, in terms of hours worked. And once she, you know, turns in her papers to the HR department, if you will, um, she should be able to leave this particular colony and go to a different colony where there is at least some sunlight. The colony that she's currently on, it's dark all of the time. And so once she gets to HR, gives HR the appropriate paperwork and is signed off on, you know, her parents are like, hey, you know, her dad's like, hey, you know, she's ready to leave. And so HR has denied her request to leave this colony because HR, unbeknownst to our heroine here, um, they increased the work hours exponentially. So that means that she's got about another nine years or so to stay where she is. And that's the end of that. Well, you know, of course she's disappointed and feels like I got to get out of here. So you fast forward and she meets with uh, a few other colonists. They're all like young 20 something, you know, year old colonists. And, you know, she explains her circumstance and they're like, well, listen, we're blowing this pop stand. I, you know, one of the um, uh, colonist friends is like, hey, I, if we can do this, if we do X, Y, and Z, I have a plan. We can all leave, but um, there are only enough pods where we're going uh, for everyone except Andy. And so she's like, well, no, it doesn't work like that. We are a, a, a package deal. So they kind of sort that out. And so they all transport to this you know, out into, you know, the alien space. And so everybody's on board and basically Andy is being used um, by the leader of this little colony group um, because intellectually he is, um, he, he's got some type of, you know, device in him. And so intellectually, they, this particular um, leader feels like, ah, eh, you're gonna hold us back, but because you are, you do have some special qualities, we can use you to enter this facility and do the things we need to do to shove off. Fast forward, the movie starts kind of slow. It started slow, I, I felt it was kind of slow, but I guess it was, for the purposes of character development, um, so that you know all of the uh, individuals who are on this journey. Um, it is 
dark in terms of the set and the, the movie itself is, is just dark, which for me, I wanted to, you know, I'm like, can somebody open a window so I can see what's going on? So they can see what's going on. It was just, you know, all about having a flashlight and just kind of knowing your surroundings enough to know, you know, where in this particular, um, I guess space station, if you will, they, you know, know where to go and how to travel. And, you know, you've got all your computer devices telling you what door to open and what to close and what uh, works and how many hours you have or minutes you have to complete this particular task and so on. So it's that type of, of dialogue going on. And it takes a while for our Romulus alien to appear and when they do appear they are obviously hell-bent on trying to kill these people and you know they they are on their mission and then you have our young colonists who are on their mission to uh um rid themselves of these aliens or get away at the, at the very least so it's that type of movie you know aliens chasing humans and the 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 colonists in terms of their individual characters weren't really appealing to me other than andy surprisingly he was the one that kept me engaged and of course our heroine the others were just for me just kind of middle of the the road you always have a hot a hot head loud mouth bully who you know got a whole lot of stuff to say about everything but um the aliens got something for you so <laughs> you just have to wait and see and so that's you know the movie the aliens are if, if you saw any of the previous alien movies especially number one they appear the same okay they they emerge in very similar fashion they're very um you know scary looking and slimy and gross and in some scenes when they presented themselves not only were they you know creepy but the way that they emerged for me in some scenes was kind of graphically gross. I, I, I don't know. It, it, if you go and view this movie, and I hope that you do, you can certainly uh, add in the comments how you felt about the aliens and how they appeared on screen. So there you have it. You know, you've got a colony of people trying to, um, get to from point A to point B, but of course they have to survive. And, you know, just like in any other movie where you've got this type of, of thing going on, everybody may not make it to the end of the movie. And, and when you see who does make it to the end of the movie, you wonder, okay, what happens next? Will there be another alien? Well, if there is, I won't be seeing it. I've had enough. But um, if you are really into that space exploration and scary and creepy and what's behind this door and that sort of thing, this is the movie for you. So there you have it. Alien Romulus in theaters right now. All right, folks. So I am going to jump into my nail it, nailed it. And staying with our scary, creepy theme of the movie Alien Romulus, I'm going all the way back to 1979 and the first installment of the Alien franchise with Sigourney Weaver. And the scene that really did it for me was the emergence of that damn alien. The iconic chest buster scene. We're sitting at the dinner table, minding our own business, having a nice dinner, having a nice conversation. Dude gets sick and all kind of 
stuff comes out of his body. And wow, that scene was like, like one of the best graphic, gory um, monster scenes I've ever seen in a movie. So that is my nailed it, the chest buster scene from Alien, the first installment. All right, folks, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that like button and comment below. And remember, we are available on every podcast platform in the universe. Just type in, have you seen it with Denise and there I will be. Okay, moviegoers, you know what to do. Until next week, I need you to see a movie because I'm going to see a movie. Until next week, bye-bye.